Hey everybody and welcome back to another One of Everything Wednesday's replacement series. We're back again with three mystery boosters of convention edition. That's right. What we're doing here on this series is instead of opening up one of every pack from LGS's in and around my area because they're still not really quite open yet. And by that I mean they're starting to open up now here in Ontario, Canada. Um, and uh, you know, I'll be able to start getting to, out to them and picking up packs uh, hopefully in the near future. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, they're forecasting things should be like sort of back to normal by like, you know, November, December ish in the aspect of things being open and all that kind of stuff. So um, who knows? Maybe we'll be back there, but uh, we've got this whole box to go through first. So we're going to finish off this box and then we'll get there. But we're taking every card that's worth a dollar or more and putting it into the patron pile. And what this is, is a pile of cards that gets given out to our patrons every month along with their other rewards from the Patreon. So they get a little bit of an additional bonus for being a patron. Good stuff. So we've got, uh, you know, Wooburg order, of course, in these packs. The thing to note with these packs is that how they differ from the regular Mystery Booster packs is that instead of a foil in every pack, they have a uh, playtest card in every pack. If I miss anything, let me know in the comments below, but uh, I'll try to catch everything while I'm doing the editing and stuff and pull the cards out that need to be pulled out, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, Jungle Barrier as our multicolor card. Our colorless card is a uh, Kazandu Refuge. So there you go, a little cons land basically type thing. Our M15 or older card is Corrupted Conscience from Mirrodin Besieged. And then we've got an Aether Flux Reservoir. That's not a bad little hit. We'll take that, right? Look at that one. Gorgeous little piece right there. And our playtest card is a Baneslayer Aspirant, which is a 2-2 two, two for 2, but it gets plus 3 plus 3 and has Flying First Strike and Lifelink as long as you have one or more emblems. So there you go. Not a bad little one, for sure. Good for any Angel deck, right? Who doesn't like to have a human soldier in their Angel deck that basically becomes an Angel, right? We've got uh, Sky Spear, Benevolent Ancestor, Water Courser, Secrets of the Golden City, Vraska's Finisher, Ben Hauler, Wayward Giant, Battle Rampart, Kintree Warden, Reign of Thorns, Goblin Trenches. Ooh, our multicolor card is a rare. Look at that. We got a rare out of the multicolor slot. Don't think this is over a dollar. I'll put it down here just in case. We've got a Wirewood Lodge, which is not a bad little uh, colorless card. So we'll take that. That'll go here. we got a rare in the M15 or older slot as well. Magus of the Moat. We've got Gaunti, Lord of Luxury. I love this card. I think it's great. Um, I'm surprised that it doesn't have a higher price tag than it does. It's, a, it's actually quite a very good commander. I like it quite a bit. Um, and then our... <laughs> our playtest card is priority avenger prior look at look at the drawing on this card just look at just look at how glorious that is it's a bird wizard for three and a white players can't cast instant spells unless a spell or ability is on the stack which means you can, you can't cast instants unless there's another spell already on the stack which is so weird because that basically means you're removing like combat tricks because like you can't cast an instant in combat unless there's already another instant on the stack um, or unless someone taps something to add an ability, basically. So, like, you could tap something to do an ability and then cast your instant, but, like, it really messes up your, your combat tricks, which is kind of funny. Ghostblade Eidolon, Fiend Hunter, great little card in white. I love that card. Stream of Thought, Cartouche of Knowledge, Induced Despair, Fallen Angel, Ruinous Gremlin, like my cats, uh, Undying Rage, just a couple of gremlins. Uh, Yavamaya Elder, Roots, our multicolor card is a Flamekin Zealot, we've got Call the Scions as our colorless card, which is actually green, but it is actually color colorless because it's devoid from Battle for Zendikar, our M15, our older card is a Black Knight, we got a Mythic here, Temporal Mastery, not a bad little hit, we'll take that, and we got Evil Boros Charm. So it's a black or red, or a white or black. So two hybrid mana, black, red, or white, black. And then choose one. Card name deals two damage to any target and you gain two life. Or 
unblocked attacking creature gets plus one plus zero until end of turn or create a one one colorless spirit creature token with lifelink and haste what a weird card it doesn't seem better than boros charm you know what i mean like boros charm just seems better than this and this is supposed to be better because it's evil boros charm right which is why it's got the black as opposed to just red and white super weird anyway very interesting very very cool Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Prices should have come up in the top right corner there for each of these cards. We hit some pretty decent stuff. Aetherflux Reservoir probably being the biggest hit uh, this this week. Not too shabby. But, I mean, the three playtest cards for sure. Temporal Mastery for sure. Wirewood Lodge for sure. We did get an additional rare this week uh, with the colorless card being a rare. Didn't even know that that was a thing. Didn't know that the colorless card slot could be a rare card. So, there you go. I guess you could technically get a pack that has multiple rares because, like, our M15 or older pack could have been a, a rare as well and if this goblin trenches was in the original mystery booster packs you could end up with one here one here one here and one here so you could end up with a pack with four rares in it which is kind of crazy for a mystery booster pack thank you so much everyone for watching i've been your host Mitch Bevers, and as always may your pulls ever be better